Ham at home, taking a jacuzzi, smoking a little stogie. Mm. I just finished a bike ride and a little bit of workout and I just, you know, keep staying at home. Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of the most famous men on the planet. Seriously, I mean, just think about it. I don't care where you are, the United States, Canada, Austria, Australia, China, Zimbabwe, it really doesn't matter. If you approach anyone on the street and say the name Arnold Schwarzenegger, they're immediately gonna respond in one of a few ways. It's not a tumor. I'll be back. Hasta la vista. Baby. Of course, not only is Arnold one of the most famous action movie stars of all time, he's also a former record-breaking bodybuilder. And even the former governor of California. Which is also, of course, the state he calls home. As you might already guess, Arnold has quite the mansion to house himself, even some adorable farm animals, but we'll give you all the details on his place in a few. Arnold has always been a man among boys his entire career and has managed to earn himself a pretty penny over the span of more than 50 years in the world of sports, entertainment, and politics. And he's not slowing down anytime soon. She hasn't noticed that you weigh 400 pounds? That you never sleep? Our relationship is not physical. That's a 72-year-old Arnold reprising arguably his most infamous role as James Cameron's robotic killing machine in last year's Terminator Dark Fate. That movie may not have been a massive hit, but it didn't dampen Arnold's net worth any. The man has been a millionaire since way back when, in 1968, but probably not for the reasons you might think. It wasn't acting or bodybuilding that earned Arnold his first million, it was real estate. You see, in 1968, Arnold left Europe for America with only $27,000 to his name. Within the span of one year, he had transformed that into a cool one million thanks to some smart real estate investments. Arnold told Tools of Titans, Buildings that I would buy for 500,000 within the year were 800,000, and I put only maybe 100,000 down. So you made 300% on your money. Wow, and people have the nerve to call this guy a meathead. Arnold has steadily built up his portfolio over the years, and he's currently worth an estimated $400 million, and that's after factoring in a pretty infamous divorce from Maria Shriver. Despite having the type of portfolio that would catch any investor's eye, Arnold himself has lived primarily in only one house over the years, seldom owning more than one home at once. His two most well-known homes are his former house, the Pacific Palisades he shared with Maria, their kids, and well, We'll get to that. We'll also take a look at his current mansion located in Brentwood. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour, this one taking a look at two different homes of everyone's favorite cyborg and substitute teacher, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold has been one of my favorites ever since I was a kid, so I'm excited to get to show you guys two of his homes today. I unearthed a whole bunch of details about his former home in the Palisades, which he sold soon after his affair with his housekeeper and subsequent divorce from Maria Shriver came to light. But today I'm gonna show you what the house was like when his entire family was still living there. After that, I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of his current Brentwood mansion. There's less details known about that home, but I found some fun clips that Arnold's been sharing since under lockdown that give you a taste of the place. I mean, who isn't here for Arnold and farm animals? We've also done house tours on the likes of Jerry Seinfeld and Robert De Niro, and we'll link to some at the end. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Now let's get into this video. Epic would be one word to describe this nine bedroom, nine and a half bathroom home, and really would you expect any different? This Mediterranean style home is a 10,000 square foot villa located in California's Pacific Palisades, surrounded by lush woods and palm trees. It's located right next door to the Will Rogers Historic Park, which can even be accessed directly from the grounds. This home was built in 1982 and features gorgeous landscaping on the property with an amazing geometrically shaped pool and a champion sized tennis court. The inside of this home is full of natural light and entirely aesthetically pleasing, including marble floors throughout. A beautiful staircase that leads upstairs immediately greets you upon entering the home, or you can turn and enter the warm and inviting living room which features elegant furniture and artwork. It's even got its own grand piano which you can enjoy listening to while catching the sunset through the view out of the two large patio doors. The kitchen is completely open concept and has an adjoining dining room attached to it. The appliances are all state of the art and the 
kitchen also has been outfitted with its own island for all your preparation needs. Upstairs, there's not a whole lot of evidence remaining of the four kids that Arnold and Maria raised in this home after moving in in 1986, but there is one obvious kids room which must have been either Christina or Catherine's room when they were younger. Meanwhile, the master suite is outfitted with beige walls, dark wooden floors, a private terrace, white armchairs, a widescreen TV, and a large bed surrounded by a canopy. There's also a guest quarters in the property which includes a leopard print carpet and ceiling to floor windows that look out onto the tennis court. The small kitchenette attached to this room suggests that it was probably used by guests and or staff. Speaking of staff, I guess we should finally address the elephant in the room, so to speak. It's the worst thing that I've ever done. Worst the, thing you've ever done? Well, yeah, because the worst it, it's, secret? It, it's, it's, well, not just the worst thing, it's just the worst thing because it hurt so many people. Yes, this is the home that Arnold had an affair with his housekeeper, Mildred Bayonet in. Arnold subsequently fathered her son, Joseph. Reportedly, Arnold had no idea that Joseph was his until he started looking like him. Yeah, I can definitely see the family resemblance. Look, divorce is never fun and certainly never easy, but everybody makes mistakes in their life, even someone as successful as Arnold. And here's the thing, ever since this news story emerged close to 10 years ago, Arnold has owned up to everything and his messages to his son are honestly heartfelt and refreshing to see. Like this recent post Arnold made congratulating Joseph on his birthday and telling his son how proud he is of him. After the end of his marriage to Maria, Arnold stuck around in this home for a few more years, but finally sold it in 2013 for $12.9 million. Alright, let's move on to the place that Arnold currently calls home. To be honest with you guys, there's not a whole lot of details available about this property. What we do know is that it's even bigger than Arnold's old house at 14,500 square feet of space. It's got 7 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, and a tennis court as well, just like his last home. It features a remarkably stylish home office, and of course it's even got its own gym. Arnold purchased this home back in 2002 for around 5.1 million, but didn't move into it full time for almost a decade. Arnold now lives in this home with his current girlfriend Heather Milligan, along with a few other house guests. See, the important thing is that you stay at home because there's a curfew now. Okay, no one is allowed out, especially someone that is like 72 years old. After you're 65, you're not allowed out of the house anymore in California, so we stay home. And we eat here. Yep, that's Arnold inviting his farm animals into what he calls his small house to help inform all of us how to keep safe and clean during the early days of our shelter at home orders. I don't know about all that small house stuff, but it sure looks like he's having fun regardless. And Arnold didn't stop there. He also invited us into his bathroom to show off his mad hand washing skills. Look at this. I go like this, then I go up like that. Okay, and then you go here. In here, then you wash your thumbs, and then you go, exactly. And a peek at the pool in his backyard as well. Alright guys, I think we'll end this house tour here. What did you think of the two homes of the one and only Governator? His former home sure did seem to have it all, but I'm dying to get a better look at the inside of his Brentwood estate. So here's hoping he starts dropping more quarantine videos that give us that chance to do that in the near future. You guys can rate your fave of Arnold's homes in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and don't worry guys, I'll be back. You know I had to end it like that. See you in the next video. Bye.